I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt right now. I chose not to go to Superfly 3 in Englewood. It's two hours away from my house. Could have gone. I thought Orokuta was going to be no match for Gallo Estrada. Juan Francisco Estrada would make easy work out of Felipe Orokuta. I saw an overmatched opponent. A guy that was a good fighter. A box Azteca type of guy. But eventually he would get worked by the better, much more skilled fighter. If I did participate in the circle jerk that is pound for pound, I would have Gallo Estrada in my top 10 pound for pound. But you guys not, no, I don't, so it doesn't matter. But this fight, man, shocker. Shocker. Urukuta came to fight. He came to win this fight. He outworked Gallo at spots, and he landed bigger punches in a lot of rounds. I had this fight a draw. Guy won a razor thin decision on Heather, Harold Leonard Letterman's scorecards. The judges' scorecards were a bit wide. 118, 110. Two judges only gave Orokuta two rounds, and one of them gave him three rounds. Shame. For shame. This was a razor thin fight. I had it a draw. I don't think Gallo won this fight. Gallo knew that he needed to win the last couple rounds. He came in the 11th and 12th, especially the 12th. He went into the 12th round to try and knock out Orokuta, but he couldn't because Orokuta came to fight. He was in great condition. He he was throwing punches galore. He he didn't have much style. He didn't have much power. He he didn't have a lot of finesse, any footwork, any of that cute stuff you guys like. But he he had a heart. He had a heart. He had a good chin. He had conditioning. That's what I'm surprised about. Because I know all these Boxa Azteca guys. I know they have heart. And I know they're going to come to fight. I know they have balls. But not all these guys have the conditioning to last against a world-class opponent like Estrada. But this guy did. Around the 8th, I was like, wow. This guy's not getting tired. This guy's not getting tired. I, I know that Orukuta fought the fight of a lifetime. He fought his heart out. Estrada, at times, he was uninspired. He wasn't throwing much. He was very easy to hit, hit something that the HBO commentators were were saying a lot that he he was very easy to hit that he needed to work on his defense he wasn't throwing much body shots the beautiful combinations that i love estrada for so much bah, 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 bah. the marcus type of combinations were non-existent in this fight very uninspiring performance by estrada and I mean, it didn't cost him at all because the scorecards were so wide. But I think he came into this fight expecting a much easier fight. And he knew, like I said, he knew in the last two rounds that he needed to win those fights. He thought, at least. He thought. Uh, if the judges got it right, which they usually don't. But if they did, they would have had it a lot closer, I believe. But he got away. And I'm okay with the 7-5 win. Uh, scorecards for Estrada, like Harold Letterman scorecard. Uh, like Le Harold Leonard. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with his name. Harold Letterman scored it. Seven rounds to five for Estrada. That's okay with me. A razor thin win for Estrada. That, that'll be my official <laughs> scorecard for that fight. That's what I'll believe he won. He won a razor thin decision. Not a wide unanimous decision to, trying to rob Orokuta. But a very, very exciting fight. I said I'm kicking myself in the butt for not going to this fight. <sighs> I, I should go to every fight that I have an opportunity to go. Not miss out because I think they're going to be stinkers. I should have gone to this fight. I'm sorry, guys. Let me know if you went to this fight. If you live in the LA area or the Southern California area. And if you're going to go to any other fights in the area soon, let me know. Maybe I'll go as well. Thanks, everybody, for watching. One more thing, one more thing. I'm sorry. Estrada would have lost to Sarong Masai today. I think Sarong Masai would have beat that booty tonight. It 
give an uninspired performance against a killer like him, a tight killer like Sarongosai, you're going to get knocked out. That's what it would have happened. So if, if, if you wanted to prove that you beat Sarongosai with this fight, you didn't do it. If you wanted to scare off Sarongosai with this fight, you didn't do it. But if maybe you wanted to goad him into a rematch, maybe you did it with this fight. He had a couple fights in Thailand. I don't even know if he won his fight in Thailand a couple days ago. I'm sure he did, or else the internet would have exploded. At least the boxing hardcore nerds that we are would have exploded if Sarongas had lost to some guy from Thailand. So, thanks everybody for watching. I hope Super Fight 4 is Sarongasai versus Estrada 2. I hope we get that fight. Thanks. You guys have a great night already. Peace.